Hi, how collective? How are you? Welcome to Self Discovery Support. Thank you for joining me. My goal is to offer a storyline. Today, we're going to offer two that may assist with self awareness and insight into your situation. Please remember that you hold a power in co creating the life you desire. We'll start with, well, today we're actually going to start with, um, we're going to look at um, your your connection in no contact so we're going to do a, dif a slightly different spread and just kind of go that way see how it flows and um i'm using the tarot for kids and the buzzfeed oracle today and if anything else comes up that i add then i will i'll let you know then all right so first things first please choose a or b all right, let me just drop my phone here. All right, A or B. I'm going to give you um, 20 seconds, 30 seconds to have a look. Do this intuitively, like just go with what your gut is pulled to. Okay, all right, so you just shift this book out of the way and um, we're going to start with, um, if you chose A, let's get into the A reading. All right, let's see if I can scooch up here, okay. All right, so... Let's look at um, what's happening for your person now. How they're feeling, and how they're feeling about um, this connection. If you chose A, how's your person feeling now about this connection? We have Rival. We have Gadgets. We have um, Saturday morning cartoons. Okay, so there's a lot of um, emotion that I'm seeing, like two very emotional cards, nostalgic memories cards, and um, one like very earth energy card. So there is... like your person isn't feeling like if you are in no contact with this person they are not feeling um a lot of um difficulty in terms of right now so it does make me feel like um this is something that has like there's been a long period because it does seem like this is someone who has gone through things and is now like rebalancing themselves yeah I also think here's another thing this this card talks about being well informed particularly i are connected to social media so i do think this person of yours is spending time looking making sure that they stay abreast of the things that you do um but yeah they're they're watching basically and we have you know the tv here as well but I think because they can maintain that, you might be someone that is pretty visible online. And because they can still maintain that connection that way, they are able to feel balanced, feel like they they can still connect to you in some way. Um, this makes me feel like with these two, especially with like... The devices and the TV, it just makes me feel like you could be some kind of um, personality or content creator or um, have a strong social media following. You could just be visible, like the work that you do. Maybe you're like a host of something or I don't know. Um, you're 
you have a job that takes you into the public eye so I feel because of that we have patient here so this feels like someone who's waiting on something to happen yeah they're like going with the flow they're like okay if it takes this however long I'm gonna I'm gonna be there and I'll just keep an eye um, we do have a snowstorm in hidden energy so I feel like this is against the context of after all of this stability is a context of um, a little bit of chaos in this person's life but it could be like things are changing things are changing for this person they're settling down all right let's get a little bit more info Okay, so your person could be closing out a cycle in their life um, with a tower here. It does tell me that um, this, your person has gone through some big changes. Um, it could be this no contact situation that sent them into this place where they were, like it caught them by surprise for sure. But it does seem like a whole cycle has happened. So I was saying like, this feels like something that happened a while ago. And so this person is like coming into some kind of settled space. Like there are, I think acceptance is um, coming up. <laughs> okay, so we have the bully, which is like the devil, the devil card in um, other decks. Um, I feel like your person is allowing the habit of looking, watching, to feed a little bit into um, the obsessive behavior um yeah because they're able to see you or view it view you in some way this pattern is there but also i feel like it does feed into their anxiety about it even though it, it seems to be settling it does seem like it feeds that um or this kind of like idea that they could still like come together with you Yeah, okay, yeah. So this tells me that this, your person definitely is going through a healing process here. Um, I think they've decided to take a step back to... Um, I feel like they think that things need to be balanced, things need to be fair. Yeah, there's, there's a real decision to hold back from this connection um, until things can right themselves. And I think this is not necessarily um, just about you... It's also about them, like the things that they need to balance. Y'all could have known each other from a, um, from school, from high school, college, that type of thing, a long time. You know, another thing I'm seeing here is that this person could have a family. Um, and I don't, when I say family, I don't necessarily mean um, like marriage, but they could have a very strong um, parental family situation that keeps them tied. It's almost like they're going through a process of trying to free themselves, trying to, yeah so that they can put themselves in a place of much a much different place much stronger energy it does feel like your person is almost like i want to say like a coming of age and it doesn't matter how old the person is you can come of age at any time because like maturing you have different processes of maturing right yeah okay i think your person is working towards a big not just about the connection but a big triumph in their life and this this whole thing could be a part of that all right let's see how you feel how how do you feel about this connection okay we have memory developing photos so you could be a little bit nostalgic yourself as well about this person you could feel like you have good memories here the alligator okay so i feel like you're still upset about something here there's like 
you're not um you're not over whatever was the grouse here but you know what i feel like you're trying to make yourself com um comfortable happy um i feel like there's a defensiveness up against your person here um f and we do have like the desert here with so there is like a path you feel strongly about something that happened in this connection like fierce heated passion you could feel passionate about this person as well like it could just be that you do miss this person you're reminiscing on these memories here yeah i think you, i think you try to resist these feelings though I think there's also a little bit of upset maybe that this couldn't have been um, manifested into reality. I think you think now about it like, okay, one day, maybe someday, Nine of Swords. Um, maybe there's a lot of overthinking, a lot of like, maybe a little bit of worry here. Like, will it come together at some point? Um, maybe, maybe, not sure. Um, but I feel like you're having to maybe to make sure that you move on make sure you you do what's best for you at this point um, I'm gonna get some advice for you all right so seven of coins this is something that you've waited on for a long time probably as we saw here there's a lot of time invested in this kind of connection so eight of wands okay it's like if you have a chance to have a new start with this person i think the universe the universal message here is you're being guided to take action towards it to move in that direction if you feel that that is what you want you um i do see that you guys have been at this for a while um so definitely universe is not wanting you to postpone anymore i see what your person might want to say i want to travel with you and create wonderful memories are you up for an adventure okay there's a lot of noise on the road i'm hoping you're not hearing that because it's um about two days before Christmas here in Kingston, Jamaica, and there's bikes even more than normal. Okay. Let's get to know each other better. Things are moving too fast. Okay, so that could have been what your person said, you know, before you had some kind of split. Because I am sensing more tension on your side than on theirs. I feel like they're open to trying again. I feel like they're open to having another go but they definitely want to slow it down and we saw that with a rival for your person in the um the cards before this person is looking does look forward to spending time with you they do but i think they just want to take it at their own pace i think this is someone who is pretty independent they do see value in what you would bring to their life but um yeah it just this is something that i think it's like an alignment di divine timing type of thing maybe some people took there's misinterpretation as well that seems to come up or miscommunication um it's, you guys have a kind of very tense kind of um connection but i do see a lot of passion as well and i also see on your side whoever you are watching this that maybe this tension aro arose because you also do have that passion for this person and it can sometimes tip over into the other side so guys this is your reading and if you are group a have a really good holiday take care and i will catch you here again stay tuned for group b as well check it if you have any other messages if you do like this please do like comment and subscribe take care okay so if you chose b this is going to be your reading let's put this here all right so let's look at um how your person is feeling during um no contact with you all right how is group b's person feeling during no contact
the same card came out for um group A, so there could be a crossover. There's always a crossover when um whenever I do these pick a cards, there's always a crossover connecting card, which you know always makes me think these two groups are connected. This card also was in that pile and you have it in your hidden energies. So this person here is um I think at this moment this person is maybe trying to enjoy themselves. They're trying to do the things that um, make them feel good and they're also trying to present a a face of like I'm doing well. They're trying to present a face of really doing well. Um, I think they're very conscious of how they show up on social media. They're conscious of like how they're presenting to their peer groups. Um, I think they're also um, trying to stay social as well. So I don't think this is um, someone that maybe their friends would have a, a real clue that anything like what is happening here there's something that they are also it's like while having all this activity it boils down to wanting to like waiting waiting on something to happen but in the meantime i'm going to make myself at home make myself comfortable and just move forward All right, so let's get a little bit more um, by a tarot. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. And so I had to like look at it again because this is someone who is almost like in resistance within themselves. As I'm saying, it feels like someone who is resisting any kind of reality so it's like not not allowing yourself to feel whatever it is like there's a there's an ending here that happened so this is a no contact situation judgment okay so there's an ending which now that it looks like it's set to have a rebirth or a restart this person could be um either fighting fighting for this fighting Let's let's clarify again. Okay, so I feel like your person wants to bring balance into the connection. It does seem like um, they're pretty fired up about some issues to do with you or and the connection, and also themselves probably. But it's like they want to bring something that's more um, in harmony. So it could be a kind of, this is almost like a page of wands, knight of wands type of energy where there's a surge to, to do or achieve something that would actually bring harmony um, between both of you. Yeah, okay, strong manifestation energy. Um, this person wants, it's, it's like they don't feel a sense of certainty in how things are going now. Can focus this okay yeah your person doesn't feel like sure or certain about how to say there's a lack of certainty or and definitely a lack of safety in the connection as it is and so I think your person wants to manifest like easier feelings between you they don't want the strife But it does seem like they're they're locked out from you. They're like you could have a wall up. Um, group B, you could have some kind of block or wall up against this person, or they know that they have that to deal with. There are a lot of things that they ha that has to be overcome before they get to this kind of safe space with you. But there is a there is a wanting to take some action towards that though. There's wanting to overcome this so it's this is someone who is like i feel like this is someone who's acknowledging what's happened 
and wanting to move forward okay yeah this is someone that just feels like there's a lot of this is this could be an air sign there could be a lot of strategy involved for this person like how do i make things come and centered and sure again how do i bring that energy back seven of swords okay your person could be doing things that are maybe not known to you there's like a strategy that they're employing hmm. i just saw the fool so like there's a strategy on how to have a new beginning like there is like a little scheme in a way that's really interesting strength so it's like this is someone who's like holding back it does feel like this is someone who's holding back as a part of a strategy that is so that is so odd i'm gonna say odd it's like it's it's not a direct way about going about this as i was saying there's like a presentation of things and so almost like this is someone who has a layer beneath what they, you see on the surface they are deciding like making some decisions here wanting to communicate i think they're trying to like steady themselves like still make themselves feel seem quite um us us what is the word assured yeah yeah it's like a decision to hold back a decision to maybe even a decision for this person to heal like let's almost like they see the break between you as some kind of strategy and then there's a possibility of coming back here it's like there's a plan in place oh man so it's yeah yeah this is like why they would be staying quiet Ooh. It's almost like this person is allowing like the, the period between you to be a time when you can deal with a lot of the issues that you, they see you as having and also for them as well and then they will take action you know what this feels like it feels like one of those um you know you have a lot of people giving advice on no contact like what you should do not everybody who gives advice on no con contact is um certified or able or let's say prof a professional who could give you like proper advice on that um i would always default to a, a trained um therapist on on what no contact could look like rather than like a dating coach or because no, there are great coaches but it's just like you're not sure who is qualified to do that or even like readers like i would never tell you like how to approach no contact i'm just here to get the message from in between <laughs> okay all right let's see how you feel let's see how you feel about this person all right you don't seem that bothered you do you know you do think about them you do think about them of course so you don't you're not showing up as um totally bothered i think you're trying to lay low as well like you're not um trying to be seen being a bit covert as well um i think while you're trying to handle or deal with what for you became a very um complicated um, situation I think it's also a process for you it feels like very much like hermit energy there's someone who's retreated someone who is trying to assess what's happening as well so you guys mirror each other in a little bit because it's like you're both doing the same thing but i don't think yours is out of strategy or scheming i think yours is out of trying to process what you found difficult okay so i think you're trying to understand your feelings for this person because you do see um ten of cups 
it could be complicated because as i was saying before this person has a family it could be now that it's not just a parental situation but they could actually have um, another family and if they have a stable a stable situation that makes them hold back and so you could be saying okay i should hold back from this okay uh, i think you feel like you feel like this person has been um a little bit tricky with you they could they could be um in another committed situation we have the hierophant and queen of wands here on rare occasion for me the queen of wands represents somebody else and, and i think this is one of those occasions yeah i feel like you you probably are the one that ended this or if you didn't you are coming to kind of grips with okay this is over for me this is probably a time to kind of pack things up i at least need to recover from this so that's i think what makes it complicated you do have this ten of cups energy you have these feelings but then you see you also see the necessity that maybe this needs to be at a pause at least all right so let's see what your person would want to say to you a lot came out okay let's do a lot okay the energy is very um i have a lot of fears and i'm not yet ready for a relationship yeah this you know your person shows up as somebody who's trying to control a lot of different dynamics including you and i don't want to say that as like it's a bad thing sometimes people do that from fear so that is there what else i believe that we are destined to be together in this life our connection is special and has been blessed by the angels okay so there's like an admission here that um potentially i feel they feel that this is um a strong connection um we did see that because your person is putting a lot of work into like having it play out in a way in a way that they would like but if they could let go of that you know if they could just let go of that part um because that's the thing right you you, you don't res you resist when you try to control in any way or manipulate in any way so what i want to do is get advice for you what's the advice here Three of Cups, Five of Swords, Four of Cups. All right, so Eight of Wands is here. So this talks about messages incoming, or are you going out, got outwards with your messages. Um, some movement here. So if you receive something, I'm gonna take this in the context of if you receive communication. Um, what I think has to happen here is definitely um hold space for this person but i also think you you can't let this off the hook that the way this connection happened before was not um it wasn't satisfying you i don't think it was satisfying them even and i think it it left everybody a loser in that situation and so you are going to have to um, address that eight of ones does talk about communication as well maybe hold off a little bit you know like make sure that all of these issues are ironed out before taking any steps um this thing right here stands out for me this i have a lot of fears and i'm not yet ready for a relationship i think take that seriously um don't jump into it too quickly i don't think is what i'm seeing in the cards here it's not that you give up of course give up if that feels right but if you don't feel that that's what's right for you then if you feel like there's something more here is what i want to say then um take it take your time the river is here take your time be slow progress slowly this person's also saying that they want to take it slow they're excited they're curious about you they're watching they're doing all of that but there's a lot that this person has to work out and probably a lot that you both have to work out too so guys this is your reading um if you enjoyed this please do like comment and subscribe and 
have a good rest of year and i will see you hopefully soon hopefully soon take care